Hey Houston, today we don't have a problem because today we want to talk about normal forces. That is a weird term. Normal? Like not abnormal? What does that mean? Well, it's, well, it's a technical term. So let's just talk for a moment about some of these very intriguing. So when I was in college, I had this professor of physics and he said, I'm going to push down on, he had this accent from Sevilla, I think. He says, I'm pushing down on the table. Oh, yes, I'm pushing down on the table. There's a table right here. And he says, why doesn't the table move? Why doesn't the table move? He says, because something is pushing up. He says, he says so if I'm pushing down with 50 newtons down on this table, okay, since the table is not moving, well, that means something has to be pushing up. And so my professor would say, he said, is there like a little genie underneath the table pushing up? And the answer is no. What's actually happening is the table is pushing up. So if you have a box on a table, we know that pushing down, the box being pushed down, is the force of gravity, right? But since the box is not moving, there must be another force that's equal and opposite that's pushing up on this. And we call that the normal force, or abbreviated F sub N. And the normal force is a, only a contact force, and it is always perpendicular to the contact plane. Con the contact plane. So it's important that it only works when you have a contact force. So uh, let's take another example. Let's say that I have a balloon. Okay, balloons don't weigh very much and the balloon's up in the air. If it's up in the air, there is the force of gravity pushing down on it. So it's gonna slowly sink in air, right? But since there's no contact, the air is not really appreciably in contact with it, there is no normal force. Now, if the balloon were to hit the ground, okay, for a brief moment, you know, it's gonna bounce, you understand that, it's gonna have a normal force that's gonna push it up, and it will bounce up into the air. But when it's freely falling, there is no normal force. So for normal force, you have to have something sitting on the ground. And if it's on level ground, we'll talk later at non-level ground, when it's on level ground, the force of gravity has to equal the normal force. Because remember, in previous videos, we've talked about this, that, that if you have a net force, there'll be acceleration. But if I just have a box sitting on a table, it's not accelerating. And since it's not accelerating, then therefore the force of gravity, in this case, if it's level ground, would be equal to the normal force. Or to say this, this, these are equal because the sum of the forces are equal to zero because the force of gravity, it's actually not equal. They're equal and opposite, aren't they? Because the force of gravity plus the force normal equals zero because the gravity force would be a negative number because it's going down and the normal force would be positive and they add up to zero. So that's what the normal force is. And you might say, what's the point of this? It especially has a point when we move to like a ramp situation, which we'll talk about in our next video. Houston, we don't have a problem.